Hello everybody. First of all, really thank you for watching my video. I really appreciate it. The reason why I'm making this video is because um, if you've seen my last video, it was about Swift Snapper, how the build was performing, how it's working. And but I got a lot of questions about how to sideload the application because it wasn't really clear. I give some explanations, but I did promise you guys to make a real quick tutorial. So here is the tutorial. I hope it's helpful. Um, quick things to note is the tutorial is only for Windows 10 devices. So if you have a Windows uh, 8.1 mobile or um, uh, anything below, it won't work because it works with other um, applications, uh, standards. And maybe I'll explain more about that in, a, in another video. But uh, let's dive right into it and see what we need to do. So, to sideload applications on our Windows 10 Mobile, we first need to enable the option. Go to your Settings menu, there you go to Updates and Security, and then go for Developer. In the Developer options, you'll see three options. We're going to go for Developers instead of Sideload Apps, because it doesn't seem to work for and some weird reason. Now I'm going to show you that I didn't install Swift Snapper yet, so under the S you won't see Swift Snapper installed yet, so that one we're going to download right now. I'm first going to show you the um, GitHub open source project. From there on, you'll see a bla big blue shiny logo of Swift Snapper with under it some options to download, donate, and anything else. We're just going to click download builds. It's going to redirect us to uh, App Voyeur where all builds are compiled. Um, the latest build will be displayed, but I'm going to go to history to show you you can just pick any build you want. Um, I'm just going to go for uh, update from Dutch language. Then go to artifacts. In artifacts there will be three download links. We pick the first one because the other two are for PCs, but these ones aren't able to work on the phone. You'll see your uh, browser pops up with the downloads being downloaded. Just click on it. There will be a little pop-up screen with, do you want to install the application? We're going to click yes, install in this uh, situation. And then we're just going to go back to our app drawer and just wait a couple of seconds. It can depend on your smartphone, if it has an iron to the processor or not. I'm only running a Lumia 625, so it'll take some time. I guess like 20 or 30 seconds. I'm just going to scroll through and it will pop up eventually. As you can see, nothing yet. And there we go. No, not yet. There we go. It's added to the bottom. Just going to click Swift Snapper to uh, to show you uh, what's new in this build. Um, apart from the last build, the only thing that changed are some UI um, things. And uh, yeah, most important thing of all, there isn't the Casper API. Um, I did explain it in um, the comments. But I'm going to make a separate video on this because it's uh, something really complicated. Um, to make a long story short for now, um, you only get the feeling of how the application behaves, but it doesn't work at all. You can put in any, any uh, login and username you want. It will log in as if it's, it's working, but actually it isn't. You won't be able to see any snaps, uh, send any snaps. Um, nothing. It's because it's just an offline application with no communication between the real uh, sna uh, Snaps chat um, servers. So I hope it was helpful. Uh, see you next time. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I really appreciate you guys. See you next time. Bye bye.